Hi, good day, everyone. My name is Benedicta Oyidayo Oyewole. My pronouns are she, are, uh, and I'm a Black African woman with pride parted locks. I'm wearing a black t-shirt that says feminist in white. Um, I have um, a blue and cream pair of glasses on. And it is a great honor to speak to you today during the significant period of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. This annual campaign is a global call to action. And for me, it is deeply personal. It is a moment for reflection and recommitment to ensuring that no one is left behind mm -hmm. in our fight for justice as well as equality. As we focus on ending gender-based violence, it is crucial for us to recognize that violence faced by women and girls does not affect all of us equally. For women and girls with disabilities, the intersection of ableism, sexism, and systemic exclusion creates additional layer of vulnerability and marginalization. It means greater exposure to violence, often in the hands of caregiver, partners, or institutions, systems, and if you have opportunities to escape, reports, or heal from these abuses. I speak as on intersectionality a lot, and I'm popularly referred to as the intersectional evangelist, because intersectionality provides us with a powerful lens to understand and address these realities. Intersectionality reminds us that gender-based violence cannot be disentangled from other forms of oppression, whether rooted in disability, socioeconomic status, sexual orientation, or, or and gender identity as sex characteristics. In Africa today, we face an alignment rise and increase of anti-rights movement opposition across the continent. Patriarchal politics and cultural forces are pushing back against the ad gains of feminist, LGBTQI plus and disability justice movements. And this backlash is not abstract. It has real consequences. It has manifested in leg legalization, legislation that criminalizes on the front's gender equality program and excludes marginalized communities. For persons with disabilities, this, this means continued invisibility and heightened vulnerability. Survivors of gender-based violence with disabilities are faced more greater with inaccessible shelter, unsupportive justice systems, and a culture of silence that prioritize shame over accountability. The anti-right movement strives on division, and it has used divide and conquer method to sustain oppression. It seeks to pit communities against one another and to erode the collective power of our struggle. And this is why cross-movement solidarity is just an idea. It is not just an idea, it is necessity. It is not just ideal, it is a necessity. Now more than ever, there is a need for us to come together. The disability justice movement, feminist, LGBTQI+, women's rights movement, and all movements fighting against oppression and also anti gender-based violence movements must come together now despite our differences in programming or because of our champion against oppression. Our struggles are interconnected and our victories will also be, will only be sustained if they are built on the foundation of mutual respect and collaboration. And what does plus movement solidarity mean in this we must amplify the lived experiences of those at the intersection of multiple yeah. oppression. Mm -hmm. People as, as a renowned feminist, disabled feminist, lesbian um, writer, Audre Lorde said, there is no such thing as a single issued life because we do not live a single issued story. We must amplify the voices of people who live and exist at the intersection of multiple marginalized identities such as women and girls with disabilities, 
and ensuring that our voices shape policies, program, as well as our advocacy response efforts. By uniting our movements, we can push back against the rhetoric that seems to under undermine mm -hmm. equality and justice. Together, we can frame gender-based violence, disability rights, and gender equality as a non-negotiable human rights. From ensuring that crisis centers are accessible to addressing the unique economic vulnerabilities of persons with disabilities, specifically women and girls with disabilities, solidarity means creating programs that respond to everyone. These 16 days of activism against gender-based violence offers us a critical platform to build this solidarity. This year, as we mark the 16 days of activism alongside the International Day of Persons with Disabilities on the 3rd of December, a reminder that disability inclusion must be centered in our efforts to end gender-based violence. We must also confront the reality of GBV as a symptom of broader system of oppression, patriarchy, ableism, racism, and economic inequality, reinforcing one and other, creating environments that violence strive. The road ahead is not easy. The forces of oppression are well organized, especially within the African context. As we can see, the anti-homosexuality bill, anti-homosexuality act of Uganda that criminalizes LGBTQI plus identities, the rising, um, the rising bills in Burkina Faso, the rising bills in Ghana, and across the African continent. And these are the systems we seek to dismantle because this affects you. Quoting Audrey Lord again, it says, she says, without community, there is no liberation. Community must be built on recognizing and valuing our differences, not erasing them. It must be rooted in accountability, solidarity, and shared vision for a world free of, free of violence and oppression. Let us use these 16 days to affirm our commitment to intersectionality and cross-movement solidarity. Let us remind the world and one another that justice is not a privilege, but justice is a right. And in order for justice to be attained, every voice must be at the table. Everybody must be recognized. LGBTQI plus persons, persons with disabilities, women and girls, young people, gender non-conforming folks, non-binary, everyone must be at the table in order for for freedom as well as liberation together because none of us are free until all of us are free. Thank you very much. My name is Benedicta Oyewodaya Oyewoli and I work with the International Grand Parenthood Federation African Region as the Community Engagement and Partnerships Lead. Thank you.